Hello. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about my profile. Um, I did my undergrad in mass media um, from Mumbai University. Uh, after that, I worked for 20 months with The Economist, um, after which I took a gap year and I prepared for the CAT. This was actually my third attempt at the CAT. Um, so my first attempt uh, was when I had just graduated. Uh, I had started my job, so I got a percentile of 88 point something, I don't remember the exact number, with almost a 55th percentile in quant. Uh, in my second attempt, my quant percentile went up by like 10 percentile points. So it was at 65 percentile, but uh, my overall came down to 80. And uh, then I decided that, okay, I'll give it one last shot. Um, so I took the cat again and I got a 97.56 um, with a 92 point something in verbal, uh, 95 in DILR and 90, almost 90, 97.8 something in uh, verbal. So um, that happened. Um, I got calls from all IIMs except B and C, Bangalore and Calcutta. Um, I uh, converted all except Lucknow and Kori Code, where I got waitlisted in both cases. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so that's a little bit about my profile. Um, I am terrible at maths. I'm math mathematically challenged. Um, but I, um, you know, I, I practiced and uh, one thing, one tip, because a lot of you have been asking me in the comments, uh, one tip that I wanted to give you guys is that in the CAT, you don't have to do every topic, right? Unlike the GMAT where you can, uh, where you have to do one question to get to the next question, in the CAT, there's no such system. You just have to pick the easier questions. No one is giving you brownie points for taking the toughest questions. So don't chase the tough questions. Look at the easiest questions, look at the low, lowest hanging fruit whatever's to your forte and then just try to work on that uh, in terms of uh, quant I would say I focused only on three topics which is arithmetic algebra and geometry uh, arithmetic geometry algebra if you're looking at the order of priority um, so yeah that's uh, that's how I did and in DILR I took a conscious choice to not do DI because I cannot do graphs um, so I did only LR I did sequencing scheduling arrangements and stuff like that um, and usually at least uh, up until I was uh, CAT 2021, um, I saw that most of the questions were LR oriented rather than DI oriented, which worked in my favor. And last is verbal. Now with verbal, I would say it's the easiest section regardless of where your strength lies because the answer is right in front of you, right? You don't have to be grammatically perfect. You don't have to know big words and their meanings. All that you need to do is read the passage carefully. The answers lie there, right? Um, and you just have to look for the answer. So you have to be a quick reader, number one, and you need to have good attention spans, a, a good attention span. Um, these are the two things you need for a good verbal RC section at least. And for verbal ability, I would say use elimination. So wherever there are words like but, furthermore, that would certainly not be the first sentence. You never start your sentence with but, right? So you look for cues like that and just take a lot of marks. I took almost 45 marks. Um, and analyze each one of them. Uh, analyzing is very important. It's a very boring process. I hated it, but I had to do it, right? Uh, so that's about it. Just wanted to say that if you want uh, any personalized advice uh, on how to crack the cat, uh, you can just drop me an email. I'll mention my email ID in the description box and also uh, below the um, video. So please feel free to reach out.